Hi guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an amazing intro in Scratch. You can use it for YouTube or anything that you want. Just film your Scratch project and put it somewhere. It's super easy to make and will only take you about 15 minutes. Let me show you what it looks like. Again, this is so easy to program, you just need one sprite and not a single variable. So watch this video until its end to have this epic intro at the beginning of every project. With that said, let's get right into it. The first thing we will do for this project is to go to our costumes and paint a new sprite. Call it Circle. Let's delete the two scratch cats. Now go to paint a circle and make sure that the color is 80 and the saturation and brightness both are 100. Hold shift while making the circle to make it perfectly round and center that. Now let's make another circle, this one about twice as big as the first one. Then take a shading, the one on the right, and swap the purple color with no color so that it looks like that. Let's center that one too. Now let's make a triangle and a square. So call this one square and then we will make a square like that hold shift again like this and then we will again um, have this round background so I will just go here click on that one control C then go back to this one control V and now we have that here uh, let's actually make the square a bit smaller like that okay and now let's make a triangle. So name this one triangle. And then same procedure. Go here. Again, no swap. And then you make a square. Let's zoom in a bit. And then go on the reshape tool. And click on one corner. And then delete it. And now you can drag this corner to make it look like a triangle. Go back to the normal tool. Center it. And now let's copy this one again copy paste now let's rename the sprite to intro and make another costume this one called background the background color should be 0 and 0 saturation and around 20 for the brightness then you want to make a square and fill the whole thing like that for our final costume we will go on a website called www.cooltext.com um, let's just wait a bit okay now take any of those I will take the skate one and then let's inst um, change the name to whatever name you want I'll call it underhack07 then go on the logo and then you can change the colors a bit change the shadow whatever after you've finished all the corrections that you want, go on Create Logo and then click on Download. This should download a PNG file. Go back to your project and then click on Choose a Costume and then Upload a Costume. This will open um, that thing here, I know. And then click on the one that you've just downloaded and Open. And this should open the file. Now let's rename that downloaded uh, uploaded costume to name you can change the size of um, the intro sprite a bit because remember in our animation the name will get bigger and you don't want it to like have the A and the 7 outside of the screen so I'll just make it 75 in size and depending on how large your text will be you can change the size so when flag is clicked hide because that's going to be the original costume and we will create um, some clones so hide and then switch costume to background and then create clone of myself and then duplicate that and change it to name and then we will also create a clone of the names um, name costume so if we click that uh, we first need when I start as a clone show 
right here you can see our name and the background and here you can see that the background actually isn't big enough so let's make it bigger perfect now let's take another when green flag is clicked then wait 1.7 seconds then reset the timer here and then take forever repeat until and then take a bigger sign and then repeat until the timer is greater than 2 and we will then um, switch costume to the circle and then create clone of myself and then let's duplicate that and change the costume to square and another time for triangle and what this is going to do is that for two seconds it's going to create as many um, clones as possible in an equal number of circles, squares and triangles now I will upload a sound from my backpack. It's probably going to be in the description. If it's not, then remind me in the comments and then I will put it there. So, take that here. No, not this one. Um, this one. Okay, that's how the sound is going to sound. And then, take a when flag, uh, when green flag is clicked. Then we will set, um, Set volume to 0%, then start sound, mm, that sound here, um, and then we will repeat um, 20 times, change um, volume by 5. That code is going to make um, the sound go louder and louder. Now let's um, take when I start as a clone, then if, and then three ors, so one, two, and three, and then take um, three equal signs, and those are going to uh, actually just two ors. Those are going to state um, if the name of a costume is circle, square, or triangle. So, um, if costume name equals circle, or if the costume name equals square, or if it equals triangle, I mean, if it is triangle, then we are going to set the color, color effect, um, set color effect to and then pick random negative 80 to 180 and therefore um, we will have those particles in all colors and not just in purple so and then set the size um, here no set size um, to pick random again and then 45 to 120 oops. Uh, pick random and then 35 to 125 percent then go to um, x0 y0 just to be sure and then glide in two seconds to random position like this and they will therefore also have like a different speed if one go is going from here to here in two seconds it's gonna be faster than one that's going from here to here in two seconds um, then point in direction again pick random negative 90 to 90 we want to randomize as much as possible to make it look every time different and also cool at the same time and then we will repeat 10 times um, change ghost effect by 10 So basically, once it's at the random position it wants to go, it's gonna um, fade out. And then finally, do not make our computers lag out. We will delete the clone here. Um, so that's the code for the particles. Uh, now let's take another when I start as a clone, 
and this time we're going to have if the costume name is equal to the name I think we called it name I'm not sure yeah name okay so if it's name we will again go to zero zero just to be sure um, then go to front layer um, here go to front layer then repeat 60 times change size by one so it will get bigger and bigger um, change size by one and then wait 4.5 seconds and then broadcast C new message C okay and now the thing is um, that you could also have like repeat six times change size by 10 this would be correct too but if you have this number as small as possible it's gonna be um, smoother you can also have instead of the C you could have any message but I just take a short message and that's actually going to end the whole animation um, so now let's take when I start as a clone and then if the costume name is background copy that and put that out or actually I'm not gonna put everything out because we're going to use a few of it a few of them um, if it's background then go to zero zero and then forever point in direction 90 90 degrees um, and then set size to 100 percent so this is to avoid that um, if you have like a size that is too small that is it's not gonna cover up the whole thing like we did just at the beginning if we have that I think whatever is going to happen it's going to cover all, all of it um, the screen so and then take another um, when I start the clone if the costume name is the name um, then we will also point in direction 90 degree and this time we're gonna actually change the color um, so set color effect to pick random 1 to 100 like that um, and then wait 1.8 seconds 1.8 and then set size to 100% now you want to go to um, or just take a when I receive C then stop other scripts in the sprite then you want to go to set volume to 100% and then repeat 20 times change sorry change volume by negative 5 and then change ghost effect by 5 this is gonna make um, 20 times negative 5 is negative 100 and then it's gonna be 0 and 20 times, 50, 20 times 5 is gonna be 100 so the ghost effect will be 100 and therefore it's gonna be invisible then we will have stop all sounds and then broadcast start and wait um, the reason why you need to broadcast start and wait wait sorry that was the wrong block broadcast start and wait um, so the reason why you need that is when you want to code your game after the intro um, you will have to take when I receive for example if you have um, yeah when I receive start and then you can have the code that you want because you can't just go with when when green flag is clicked because otherwise your game will already start when the intro is still going on so make sure to have when I receive start so that your game only starts once the intro is finished or it's over now there is a small thing you can improve um, instead of having set size to 100% you can set that to 75% it doesn't change much but let's just compare the two of them so 100% looks like that it just barely shrinks and if you set that to 75% it will become a bit smaller at the end and I just personally prefer it like that um, but again it's your intro so you can just mess around a bit with the colors you can you can do whatever you want to change it I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something if you came this far with watching I'm very thankful please consider liking this video as it would be suggested to more people also don't forget to subscribe to my channel Anyways, see you in the next video.